Hi, it's Madam, and welcome to this new speed build. So today I'm building a bookstore slash cafe in the old town in Windenburg. And this particular place in Windenburg reminds me of the French region called Alsace, where I've been when I was really young. And I didn't went to this particular place that I'm building right now. I've actually took my inspiration from a picture that I saw on Google. So if you're interested to, interested to see the original build, uh, I will put a link in the description for you to see the picture. And this is actually, I think, kind of a bed and breakfast in Alsace. And I wanted to go for that feel because in the old town in Windenburg, actually the entire old town in Windenburg reminds me of this French region because of the roofing, the houses and all the environment and the landscape and all that, that reminds, me, that reminds me a lot of this region in France. And I had the idea of building a cafe because in my most recent Let's Play, which I just started to share a few days ago, uh, one of my sim, Eva, just joined the avant-garde and I don't really like the place where they used to hang out, which is also a cafe, which is why I built a cafe today. And I wanted for them to hang out in a place that I would love to go to. So that's why I'm going to use a lot of books and computers and things like that, because the requirements for this club is to... Or actually, the requirements are that you have to read, you have to write, uh, also play video games, do homeworks and things, that, things like that. So this place, I think, would be perfect for this club. And yeah, so Eva just joined this club. And that's why I had the idea of building a cafe. And the idea of the bookstore just came to me afterwards. And I think this suits well the feel of the avant-garde because since they have to read and write books, I think having a bookstore within the cafe they are hanging around in, I think, is perfect for them. And also, I've played around with all the, was the wallpapers because, well, the buildings I s I've seen when I was when I went in Alsace, there was all those wood thing on the wall, and they were all different in each part of the walls. So I just wanted to play with that. And this space, um, I thought it was too big, so I tried different things. And I've cut off some parts of the recording that I did of this particular place of the build because I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what to do. And what annoyed me was that the roof went through the other roof and that was so annoying. So it's still going through this other part of the roof, but it's small so you can ignore this. And that's what I'm going to do, even though it bothers me, well, I'm going to deal with it because... Well, it's perfect this way, and it's just this little detail that annoys me. So now we're moving on to the interior, and... As you may have seen, the upstairs is quite small, and I really wanted to do something in it, because every time I do an upstairs, and it's small like that, there's nothing you can really do inside. And... I don't know, I don't like to waste any space in a build, so I thought doing something upstairs, but I didn't know what at first, so I just started with the coffee space or area of this build. And then I'm gonna put a study area, there's a kind of quiet place where you can just hang out with your friend and have your croissant, pain au chocolat or things like that, and there's also a study space. And upstairs I was able to fit the bathrooms and a computer space. So first I thought putting the bathrooms over there, but... Because I wanted to put, as I said, a computer space, um, I didn't want it to have the computers downstairs. I thought it would look weird. So I removed all the bathrooms there and I've put them just here. And I thought here would be perfect. So there's only one bathroom for the men and one bathroom for the women. 
And I think that's enough because sims don't go that often in the bathrooms. And yeah, I think this is really nice this way. And I like those bathrooms and I have actually didn't change the flooring and the wallpapers. Because, well, it was looking nice this way, so why, why putting tiles when this is nice like that? So, there's not a lot of decorations also in this build, but I thought it would be too much, so I think it's nice like that. And because this is an arch, it's open, I thought just curtains would be enough to just close this space. And so here I'm putting a lot of bookshelves and I was thinking, because this looks like an attic, um, usually you put in your attic everything you don't use that often but you don't want to throw away and I thought those bookshelves would have a lot of old books that would worth a lot and I thought that would be perfect to just put, there, put them just in that little space because I didn't know what to do there and well it looks perfect like that. Like that. And so here, as you can see, this is the computer space and I've used the computers that you can have when you are in the writer career. And just because they look like old computers and I thought that would go really well with the feel of this build. And also I've put a lot of books all around all the tables because I thought that people could come here and work. And also I've put a fruit bowl because since this is a cafe, I thought the owners would put fruits so that people could eat fruits while working and you know have something refreshing while working and here I'm putting all sorts of little spaces for them to just read and you know being in a quiet place upstairs away from all the movement downstairs because this is a cafe so I thought people would be downstairs mo more often than upstairs and upstairs is more the work environment than the relaxing place. And so for the cafe space, I've just put a couple of tables because, well, I thought people would go and just eat quickly here, have a cafe, because this is a cafe, and have a croissant and just hang out quickly here and then go away. But there will be also a space, which I'm going to work with in just a moment, where there's, where, where there's um sofa, where you can just hang out and, you know, a little bit more longer than just take something, grab a cup of coffee with a friend and then, and then go away. You can just hang out here, read a book and yeah. And I've also used a lot of items that came from the dine out game pack and so here is the quiet place that i was talking about and so as well i've used some books that I've put on the table because, well, this is a cafe slash bookstore and maybe this could be a nice library as well. So I think books are a great place to be here. And so here is the bookstore. And so here I've used a lot of items that came with the Get to Work expansion pack. And there's actually a kind of bookshelf that you can't, that you can't use as a bookshelf, but you know, it's just something that you can put in a retail store. This one. And I thought this would be perfect for Eva because she loves comics books and she reads actually a lot of, writes, sorry, a lot of comics books. So I think once she will come here, she would be happy to see that thing where, with a lot of comics book, comic books on it. And I don't think they're going to be a retailer in this lot because this is a cafe. But I've anyway placed a retail machine on the counters because, well, just for decorative and realistic purposes. Like that, you see, and I thought this would be nice to just have this. And so now we're moving on to the 
exterior, actually the back of the building, and I've placed a deck or I don't know how to say this, in French we call this terrasse, and this is something pretty common in France. You have this at, I think, most cafes, and there's just tables and chairs, so that's not really decorated, but you know, it, it has this feel that you can just go out outside and enjoy your coffee, your croissant, your scone, and yeah, and here I'm trying to find a flooring to use so that it could go well with the exterior flooring of this lot, but I didn't find anything, so I just used this painting terrain, which is fine. And as well, I wanted to have a lot of greeneries all around this build because it's old and usually with old builds, it's nice to have some um, green greeneries on, outside and it gives lives to the build. As well, I've used those ivies on the wall because since this is an old build, I thought this was logical to use that kind of thing. So for the back, I didn't really know what to do with this little space, so I'm just gonna put a children monkey bars because I guess some parents could come here and have their children with them. And since th this is a quiet place, maybe the children can go outside, play, and then once they are tired, they can go inside, spend some time with their parents, maybe on the sofas, and fall asleep. And this would be nice for the parents to have their children fall asleep and, you know, be a bit tranquil, I guess. And so for the front, this thing, I don't know the name, uh, I think this is perfect for this build because I, I was imagining that first it was a house and then it was modified to be maybe a restaurant and finally a cafe and then a bookstore. So I thought this would be perfect for that. And also I was thinking that with all those benches people could come here and not even come inside the build and just hang out, you know, on the bench and just enjoy the view, the calm of Windenburg and this old town. And so as well, because this is a bookstore, I wanted for it to show that, for the exterior to show that, so I've used a lot of items that came with Get to Work. And I've placed also those bookshelves with comics on them, because, you know, to show that this is a bookstore and that you can buy books in here. And so now we're moving on to the study space, which I've placed downstairs, and I had a lot of fun just putting this exit sign just above the door. And so this space was mostly inspired from the requirements for the avant-garde, which is to do homework, since there's two teenagers in this club. I thought they would come here and work on their homework. and. Well, because this is a place where I think you can work, have a coffee, as I'm saying th this since the beginning of this build, this particular place would be perfect for workers and people wanting to write books, work on their homeworks, do some research. So yes, I'm really happy for about this build. And I hope you are too, so if you like this build, you can of course download it from the gallery, either using the link I've put in the description or looking for my origin ID, which is modgem11. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build and I will talk to you very soon.